The traditional way to use a for loop is to declare some kind of counter variable and um, then increment that variable each time through the loop. And uh, each time you would test to see if that variable um, has you know, reached some kind of maximum. Um, there is another way in Java though to use a for loop and that is to go through one at a time each element in an array or in a collection. So here I've started a main method and uh, I have an array here. We haven't done arrays yet, but um, <clears throat> this this is sort of a first a first time seeing it. It's a really handy way to use a for loop. So it's an array of strings. So you see there are square brackets after the word string. And then I've declared each of the elements in the array. So here's my array. It's called honorverse and opening brace and closing brace and a bunch of strings separated by commas, semicolon at the very end. And these are all titles of books by David Weber. You can get them at uh, Bain Books. Uh, at bain.com and the first couple of them are free if you want to read those for free. Uh, so what I want to do here now is print out the names of all of these books one at a time and so I'm going to start off with uh, a system.out.println and I'll say David Weber's um, Honor Harrington is the protagonist. Honor Harrington books are and then I'll finish that off. So that's sort of the, the first line that will be printed out. And then I'm going to use a for loop. I'm going to show you the, the classic way to use a for loop and then I'm going to show you the faster way or more, maybe more readable way to do it now. So for, and I'll declare an integer as a counter, i equals zero, i less than, well, what are we less than? We want to be less than the size of this array, the number of items in it. Arrays have a um, an attribute or a variable attached to them called length in lowercase letters, which is a little unusual for Java. And as long as the, we're less than the length, we're going to increase each time the counter. And so now we want to print out sum.out.println and we want to print out the variable, uh, the value at that uh, location. So that's honorverse at i and there we go. Okay, so this works. Uh, it's a little bit on the confusing side because you have to grab the length and count and see if you're at the end yet. And so instead we're going to do something a little bit different. So same um, effect but a little different process. So we same thing at four but in this case instead of a counter we're going to have a string variable which I'll call current. And what, uh, what Java will do is it will put each time through the loop it'll move to the next value in the array which I will label right here. So for, and think of it this way, for each string which we'll call current in this array honorverse go through this loop and do something each time and that something is the same thing as before. Oops. System.out.println and uh, there are no quotes. Uh, I want to print out the current string. I don't even need to reference the um, array anymore because I've already grabbed that string value out of honorverse uh, the array. And so we're done. Let's uh, give it a shot. So we compile and run and I'll just scroll up here. You can see my first row followed by each of the elements of that array uh, printed out one line at a time. You can do this with any kind of array. You just have to make sure that your variable that you're plugging the values into matches the type of the array that you start with uh, and you can use other types of things besides just arrays, um, other things called collections in Java. So that is the uh, for loop using an array for counting. Thanks.